Yeah, that's like borderline um, comfort zone. Yeah, now it's like, okay, I see why they made it a one way. Yep. Recommend not drive or biking up that thing. Well, you can't. It's too slippery, even if you had quads and, you know, motors for your quads. Yep. That's neat looking. Get my shoes wet. At least it's clean water. The other week, it was a week and a half ago. Oh, it was when you went up Dry Creek with Nora. I went up Dry Creek too, and that was a river. Yeah, and there was multiple stream crossings. Yeah. Really? Wow. Ew. Ew. And I was like, oh god. I just rode my bike through that. Yeah. I don't think I'd want to bike through sewage. Ew. At least it's diluted. That reminds me in high school, we went to Sugar House Park. We were walking through the stream. And after we walked through the stream down to the pond, a cop pulls up and he says, notice the water color did it look any bluish color to you? I guess an RV was dumping above right before or during the time we're walking through the stream. I don't think I ever walked in that stream again. Well, Phil must have been in good shape. Phil, who made these trails, going up and down. Don't you find that was? You were telling your story about the crap stream, and then you're like, that reminds me of high school. And then you paused for a second, and I was like, yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. High school. Did you hear the part about me walking through a stream where? The, the RV, RV dumped it. Yeah. I was just enjoying the thought of, yeah, that reminds me of high school. High school in general. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thing. exactly. <sighs> no, that, I came around that last corner and was like, oh boy. Like, yeah, I, I was like, I better get this down one. for that. <laughs> <sighs>
That was not a... I'm breathing hard up here and you guys are all back there telling the tales and not even... <laughs> no, I'm breathing hard. I'm breathing hard. I'm, I'm more breathing hard from that scary downhill. That was a little gnarly for me. That was the edge of my downhill. Yeah, window. for us that's like the edge of our comfort. You're like, oh, no problem. Like Let me do a jump while I do this too. Well, I, these tires <laughs> throw me off a little. But, uh... Yeah, for me that was like right on the edge of my what I want to do in my mouth. <laughs> I can do it, but it, it doesn't make me happy sometimes. There's yeah. a up at Whistler. There's all these huge granite rock rolls that are just like I, I've ridden at Whistler before. You like can't the, it's the, it, the daylight on me. <laughs> yeah, it's the, they're all the double black rock rolls that you come up to. Yeah. You can't walk them. Yeah, no. And you're you have to just do speed momentum. No, no, no. Oh. No, no. Like it's it downhill, like yep. extremely steep, narrow with some bumps into trees. Like I came uh, down, wood locked up my front wheel, had it slide sideways, went you know over the side of the bike, smacked the back of my head on a tree. Like it's just like these insanely steep it, rocks. It, it is. I, I, I had to relearn how to ride. I think I. Plus it's like slick and wet up there. When we were up there, it was slick and wet. We were riding up there. Oh my gosh, man! It well, was I, I took I took a lesson, <laughs> and. Uh, just learning to jump. This 54 year old dude is my instructor. It's like awesome. Uh, he, but he's like, You've been riding bikes since you were a kid? I'm like, Yeah, he's like, You gotta relearn to ride a bike. Yeah. yeah. Like, new bikes, yeah. don't get, stay forward. And like, when you get on those rock rolls, it's like, you see the really good guys, they'll just roll up and come up and just they'll roll up just on a front wheel, you know? Like, because um, uh, your back wheel ain't doing nothing. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I didn't like riding up there. <laughs> but yeah, you, I, I could see how you would, it, but it, I, I, I had it scared me when I rode up there. And I was did like, you ride it the park or the trail? Uh, both. And, uh, I was there for a week. But... I'm looking forward to Squamish. I've heard it, it's got some good cross country trails there.